When we analyze fMRI data, we often warp or normalize our data to a space with standard dimensions and voxel resolution. This standardized space is necessary for performing group analysis. In addition, normalization allows for comparing your results to results from other experiments. There are cases where you may want to reverse the procedure. In other words, transform an image from standardized space to the subject's native space, where native space refers to the image dimensions that were acquired by the scanner. This would allow you to create an ROI in standardized space, warp that ROI to native space, and then perform the ROI analysis in each subject's native space. Today we'll be learning how to do this reverse normalization. Today we'll be using the PTT data in the FSL fMRI directory. Within each subject's directory, we have a feed directory. And within each feed directory, we have a reg or registration directory. These registration directories contain mat files, transformation matrices to go from one space to another, such as the high res to a standardized space, the example functional image to the high resolution anatomical, or the example functional image to the standardized space. Remember that the example func image is the middle time point of your functional data that's been co-registered to your high resolution anatomical. Our next step is to open up FSL view and then open up the template that we warped all of our data to. In this case, the MNI two millimeter template. Let's create a mask by selecting tools, toolbars, Atlas tools, and then click on structures, the Harvard, Oxford, cortical atlas, and the frontal pole. Now that it's highlighted, we can select save as and save this mask out as frontal pole standardized. Once that's done, go ahead and close FSL view. We now have our frontal pole mask in standard space. Also note that we have a matrix file, which we can use to transform that mask from standardized space to native or subject space. We can do this using the command flirt, FSL's linear transformation tool. For input, we give it the standardized frontal pole mask, and we use as a reference the example func image. We initialize the transformation with that standard to example func matrix, apply that matrix, and then call the output frontal pole standard to native.nii. Let's see what this looks like in FSL view. First, we open up the example func image, which is in subject or native space. We haven't applied any transformations to it yet. On top of that, we can then overlay the frontal pole mask, which we warped from standardized space to native space. As you can see, the frontal pole mask overlays relatively well on the functional image's frontal region, suggesting that the transformation between spaces was successful. Let's take a look at how to do this in AFNI. I have an anatomical image in standardized space and a functional image in native space. Open up AFNI and then select the standardized image as the underlay. Then select Define Data Mode, Plugins, and Draw Dataset. Select Choose Dataset for Copying and select the anatomical dataset. Then for a structure, let's select the left anterior cingulate and click Load Overwrite. You should see that filling in the voxels in the left anterior cingulate. And we can save this out as left ACC standardized. Once that's done, close AFNI and go back to the command line. Unlike FSL, AFNI doesn't have a separate matrix file with information about transforming between spaces. However, you can find this information in the header of a transformed image using the command cat matvec. We use the warp data field and then redirect that into a file called standard to native. If we look at the information in this file, you see the transformation information for each voxel. To apply these warps, we use the command 3D alineate with the 1D matrix underscore apply option. We apply the transformation stored in the standard to native file and call the output left ACC underscore native plus a rig. For the source image, what we are warping from, we use the left ACC in standardized space. Lastly, the master image is the target that we warp to, the functional image in native space. Let's see what this looks like in the AFNI viewer. After opening up AFNI, for your underlay, select your native space image. 
And for the overlay, select the left ACC mask that's been warped from standard space to native space. You can see in this subject that this unwarped image is relatively well aligned with the subject's left anterior cingulate. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video helped you, and I hope it shows you how flexible transformations are and how you can use them to your advantage. In the text box below, there's a link to a paper using this reverse normalization in FSL. See if you can apply it to your own data and obtain similar results. Good luck with all of your transformations, both with fMRI data and in life, and I'll see you all again very soon.